Hey guys, this is Tom Build Stuff, and today I'm going to be replacing the expansion tank hose on my F25 series BMW X3. I was changing uh, the air filter and the cabin air filter on my uh, F25 series BMW X3, and I noticed this. Zoom in here this expansion tank hose is wearing down a little bit over here um, and it seems a little wet. I put a paper towel on it. Uh, I don't know um, what that was all about but I think just from rubbing against this wiring conduit, uh, what do you call it? Wiring uh, protector, uh, it started to rub out. So I'm going to replace it, and that's pretty simple to do. This is a replacement part. wasn't too expensive. I got this actually from ECX Tuning, and this is the bottom part, and this is the top part. Part number is 17128651298. Double check with um, realoem.com. You know, put in your VIN number, the last number of your VIN number. Make sure you get the right part for your car, or if you just enter the information, uh, you know, your car information in. ECS tuning. On each end of the tank hose, there's this little wire that holds the hose in place. And I'm just going to pick it out with this pick tool. Uh, the camera didn't record the other end on the expansion tank, but that's really easy to get to. You just stick the tool underneath and pull it up. You don't pull it out completely, you just lift it up until it releases the tension on the hose. Next, we just have the old hose uh, from the expansion tank in the other end. If it's stuck, I, I tried prying it out with a little uh, screwdriver. Just be careful. All, a lot of, all the parts it connects to yeah, are plastic and you don't want to damage them. That's going to do the same thing here. Be careful. Right, so I just had to pry it open a little bit with the uh, screwdriver to get it started. Okay. Just pulled it out. Let's get the new one ready. Okay, so... There's two ends. One has like a 90 degree and that goes over here in the front of the engine. And this is more like a 45 and I'll go towards the back. So I want to make sure the clips are up. The hose is on and make sure to push the hose all the way into the fittings and then push down those wire clamps to hold the hose in place once it's under pressure. Uh, next step is to fill up and bleed the coolant system. I did lose some coolant from this area. Uh, I can see some white spots underneath where the hole was or the wear was. The first thing we're going to need to do is fill it up with an appropriate coolant that's already, you know, matches what's already in there uh, all the way up to the bottom of the fill neck. And you can see my coolant's a little bubbly. I tried to test the bleed procedure first just to make sure it worked before I started any of this. Okay and you're supposed to fill it up to the bottom of this uh, the neck on on the tank to do the bleed procedure. Okay so I have it filled up to the bottom of the fill neck with the cap on. When the cap stops, these two hours should line up. So we got the new holes in. It's not rubbing on this anymore. Got this tight there. Okay, now we need to bleed the system. Um, I have the I have the battery charger connected to the battery post, and then I'm going to start the procedure inside. You hit the start button uh, just to turn everything on. Uh, don't do it with the brake on. We're not turning on the engine. Uh, actually, before doing any of this, um, uh, I made sure I uh, connected a battery charger because it's going to run for about 12 minutes. Don't want to kill the battery. Uh, make sure the air conditioning is off. Set the... Um, oops. Set, set both uh, temperatures to the highest. Uh, make sure the, the top controller is on hot. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do, I can't really see it here, but I'm going to uh, make sure my lights are on, the low beams. Uh, I have them 
I usually have it on auto, but now I have it set to it's on low beam. Now I'm going to press and hold the um, gas pedal for about 10 seconds, and that should start the the pump going. Okay, so I have the bleed cycle running right now. And I could just hear like a faint clicking noise. And then the fan from from the blower inside. Don't really hear any gurgling or water sounds. Look, occasionally I do or something I think but this is going to run for 12 minutes and it's important to keep the charger on the car while this happens and then after this is done I'm going to have to remove the cap on the expansion tag and remove some of the water I'm just going to use this um, antifreeze coolant tester just to like you know suck it out and then dispose of it properly it's, uh, okay. I didn't catch all of it, but now I'm just like using this tool to suck up the extra antifreeze. Uh, if you don't have something like this, you can just get like a turkey baster to do it and try to be neat. Um, not being as neat as possible. And you want to get to that max line. We're almost there. See how there's like a min and a max? The max needs to be above the fluid, and then the min needs to be covered by fluid. So, the max is not under liquid, and the min is. So, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so I dried it up as best I could. I'm gonna put the cap back on. Careful not to thread it incorrectly and these two arrows should pretty much line up when it stops no gap underneath uh, run the engine I'll run the engine now and see how it goes